Hey YouTubers, thought I'd come out and make a video. I realized it had been almost a dang month since I posted a video. Well, I've been kind of boycotting automobile stuff. Uh, every member of my family, including myself, I went through three weeks of some kind of adnoidal, adnoidal virus that literally had me so sick that I ended up in the emergency room. They decided that that virus had, I don't know, turned into some kind of walking pneumonia or some kind of crazy crap like that. So finally they put me on some z pack and some different medicines and finally got well. And then shortly after that, uh, my daughter got sick. Then uh, she, she, she ended up getting over it fairly quickly, faster than the rest of us. Then uh, last Thursday, she had all four of her wisdom teeth cut out. And lo and behold, <clears throat> my wife ends up getting sick in the middle of that. So anyway, enough depressing talk. So basically, uh, I decided I'd get out here and do a little something to the blazer. Uh, we do have dual exhaust cobbled up on the blazer, and I will do a startup on it before the video's over. Uh the welds are not complete because let me let me just uh <clears throat> let me enlighten the world especially if you live around the belt and raymore grandview missouri area one of the places everyone used to go to for reasonable uh exhaust repair replacement or whatever was called jim's discount muffler in belton missouri he was always priced right he didn't gouge you it was the place to go if you needed something repaired or needed dual exhaust put on your race car or whatever so um, i uh, tried to get an estimate from him all i needed keep in mind i still had the dual exhaust the 80 percent of the dual exhaust that was on this vehicle to begin with i just needed them to connect from my exhaust manifolds down to my existing exhaust pipe maybe redo a hanger or something of that nature at first they wouldn't give me an estimate without having the vehicle there like they're like oh no we don't do estimates unless the vehicle's here i was like okay that sounds at least reasonable not particularly customer friendly but you know it's it's reasonable i, I can dig it so i'm like all right so I, basically i had talked to some friends of mine and Richard volunteered to build from scrap exhaust pieces the downpipes. So basically what he was able to build was literally scrap exhaust pipe that we pulled out of his scrap steel pile in the back of his property. Two and a half inch downpipes using those band clamps. Which was a lot more work than we both expected because when you're just using bends and turns and pieces that originally were going to go to the stupid uh, scrap yard for, to get scrap money, it's a pain in the neck. You know, some pieces are stainless steel, some, are, some of them are mild steel, but they turned out absolutely awesome. I mean, thumbs up to Richard for uh, taking the time and having the patience to build from my exhaust manifold all the way down to where it turns. Basically, I think both of them end up turning 90 degrees to point back to my existing exhaust. Well, I figured, okay, <clears throat> this is gonna make it easy to run it up to the exhaust shop, get my exhaust you know, hooked up and I'll be good to go. Yeah, <clears throat> if only life would uh, follow the script of simplicity, that would be awesome, you know. But as my life generally turns out, I get my downpipes built out of scrap metal for basically free. I have the rest of the exhaust system. I have all the, you know, I'm willing to buy whatever I need, the exhaust pipe, whatever. I just need somebody to weld it on. I go buy Jim's discount muffler. I say, hey, I got that S10 Blazer. I just wanted to bring it, bring it in and see if you guys could uh, weld up this exhaust. Well, what year is it? I said, well, I've 
It's an 85 S10 Blazer. Um, I already have manifolds on it. I don't need any connectors, connections. You know, I've got the flex. You know, I've even got flex pipe on each side. Uh, I just need you guys to weld it up for me. Well, that's going to run you at least $450. I took a moment of silence there. Because when that words came out of his mouth, I was trying not to laugh in his face. Because we're talking about two foot of exhaust pipe welded. You're looking at one, two, th six welds. Six welds around two and a half inch pipe. He's like 450 minimum. And I'm like, no, 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 I don't need new exhaust. I have my mufflers and everything. Yeah, he just cuts me off and goes, yeah, I know. And he starts preaching this thing about uh, any vehicle, 1971 and newer, must have uh, catalytic converters. And since you're running a true dual exhaust, you did say true dual exhaust, correct? I said, uh, yeah. And he's like, okay, you're, so you're going to need two uh, catalytic converters. And I'm assuming you want a high flow cat. So the two converters with welding and pipe that you're looking at 450 and up. I literally... I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself because I took a deep breath and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, we're going to have to hold off on that because um, I don't, don't think I'm going to put Cadillac in Burma. Well, any vehicle that's running on the street has to have them. So keep in mind, I've been going to this place since 1997. <clears throat> you know, I've had exhaust put on trucks, cars, anything you can think of. Pieces made, pieces cut, swollen, bent. I mean, I've been dealing with these people for ever. And all of a sudden now they're going to give me a hard time and give me this crazy price. And I'm like, um, yeah, okay, no, not going to do that. Thanks for your time. So I uh, go tell Andy. And he's like, man, he goes, I'd help you do it. But my, welding, my welder's messing up. So at first we thought the, uh, we just needed to refill the uh, bottle his gas bottle for his welder so I ran it down to uh, Front Street got the bottle, bottle filled up it's only like 39 bucks or something to have it filled so I take my blazer over there it is a freaking nightmare we get this brand new welding gas bottle filled we get everything set up mock everything up and figure out how we're gonna put it on and weld it the stupid gas won't work so, as I said, in the, or I wanted to clarify, I have dual exhaust on my car, but not all the welds are 100% legit, because we literally had to weld almost all six of those welds with no gas. So, if anybody's familiar with welding, when you're supposed to have gas with a non-flux core wire and polarity, it makes for some hard welding and it's ugly as all get out. So we welded it good enough that we could get the exhaust on the car. But we're going to have to uh, take it up and have him finish weld all six of those welds once we fix the regulator on his welder. So basically what we had determined was that two things were malfunctioning. The regulator setup on the bottle was not working properly, and the little solenoid that's inside the welder itself, when you strike an arc and pull the trigger, it activates that, uh, what I'm assuming is some kind of a 12 volt solenoid, like a nitrous solenoid, and allows the welding gas to come out your welding gun. For some reason, it's not clicking, and the regulator keeps it's blown its diaphragm or something because they kept trying to shoot the welding gas out of like a weep hole on the top of the regulator. So anyway, that's junk. We're not going to mess with that anymore until we get that fixed. But it greatly improved the exhaust situation on my blazer. So I came out today, decided I'm going to try one more time to clean out my coolant overflow bottle. I had this coolant overflow bottle and I was hesitant to use it because it's actually a factory bottle off of a GMC Typhoon. And I don't know if you guys are familiar, 
but these things have the bottom larger connection that hooks up to your actual like radiator where your radiator cap is and then it's got this other hose that were outlet that would hook up to your water to let's see water to air intercooler box on the typhoon well this thing was absolutely filthy inside it looked like someone had used those little black uh, i call them like deer poop pellet things to try to plug a radiator hole at some point and i couldn't get that stuff to come out of there for anything but if you look it's not perfect but it's damn near you know it's runnable now i tried every chemical hot water soap you know blah 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 i ran, i filled this thing completely full of um easy off oven cleaner because i thought well if it'll melt grease and carbon off of the uh cylinder heads surely it'll clean out this stupid overflow bottle no wrong answer didn't work what finally got that crap out of that overflow bottle was straight 3m brake cleaner and bolts i literally here's an example here's an example of the bolts i just grabbed a handful of these small bolts sprayed i don't know it's probably three quarters of a can of brake clean in there threw a handful of bolts in there and just vigorously shook this thing around until it's usable you know what i mean i mean i'm sure if i worked harder i could get it a little bit cleaner but at least now i can see through it it doesn't look like it's full of black death and i can uh hook up my overflow bottle so anyway that was my small project for the day was trying to clean up this overflow bottle and then try to mount it on that passenger inner fender <clears throat> because what I was looking at was re relocating it. My old setup had the bottle over on the driver's side, but now I've got my computer wiring and a bunch of other crap over there. So I'm not wanting to run the overflow bottle over there, get in the way of the, see if you guys see that. See if I can pick up this camera. You can see where I've, you know, I think I've mentioned this in a different video where I put the air filter down in that hole now down away from the engine heat so see if I can get my tripod to sit back down here but got my air cleaner relocated got my coolant overflow you know cleaned out let me go start the car real quick Hopefully this is a decent video for you guys. 